Okay folks, today we're testing this factory AM FM radio. This came out of a 1970 Pontiac full-size car. Um, I believe it'll also fit many other applications. Um, these old Pontiac radios used faceplates based on the application. The faceplate was shared between the AM and the FM, or AM and AM FM radios. So if you have, uh, let's say, like a 70 Firebird or something, you can take the faceplate off of this radio, put your Firebird faceplate on the radio, and then it'll fit the contour of the dash correctly. Um, so anyway, this is a, a beautiful, beautiful original radio. You'll see more in the pictures, but everything's in really good shape. The only real flaws I see is the uh, AM push button here has some chrome peeling off right on the AM part. The inner and outer knobs are included. This radio has the rear speaker fader option. Uh, we currently have it hooked up to the rear speaker channel, so let me show you. It's real easy hookup here. Um, I, there's a lamp lead, which is the gray. Um, the connector is a test connector, by the way, so your radio's wire or your car's wiring harness should have the connector on it. Um, anyway, but there's a wire for the lamp, a wire for power. There is a wire for the front speaker, and this connector doesn't have the wire for the rear speaker, so I have it hooked up uh, directly to the radio, and it is the one that's hooked up now to my testing. So we'll start off on the rear speaker, and then I'll show you the front speaker. We have it hooked up to a 12 volt power source, an antenna, and the correct 8 ohm speaker. And uh, we'll start on AM here. I'll show you it's working. Before we start, uh, my AM signal where I live is pretty weak from about the center of the dial on down here. That is not the fault of the radio, but just the uh, the area that I live here. Here I live down deep in a valley, and the AM signal just doesn't come that far down on the dial. So I have it tuned into the first station I can get to kind of come in, and uh, you'll see the the signal get better when we get up to uh, maybe the 11. And do not be seen for God is. This radio actually does pretty good on the uh, reception. Safety protocol. There we go. The fairgrounds flea market at the fairgrounds on Highway 152, just east of what? Where's my Where's my glasses here? It's really nice sound and reception. Any state. I'll show you when we adjust the volume, we don't get any crackling or anything. People actually want to take it. It's very loud. A lot of people who don't want to, for whatever reason. Here you go on the iHeartRadio app. Down. Just really nice reception through the AM dial. We'll switch over to FM here. Precious wildlife. Sea turtles. Okay, we're all the way at the end of the dial. Those kids in this It's here to help. Get four hundred dollars in leads on us. Just really clear. Lots of reception. They want me in the Radio Hall of Fame. I do. Bonito que. Bonito. It's really nice. Address. Gente con signos y gente con. Ah, I had. Okay, now I'll show you all the push buttons work. You've already seen AM and FM. I'll show you all of them. I guess there's AM. There's FM. Finally, I'll show you how to set a push button. Let's say we like this station. We just pull out on whatever push button we want, push it back in. No matter where we go, we can go right back to where we were. Anyway, if you've been looking for a very nice uh, looking and working Pontiac AM FM, don't miss this one. It's it's sweet. There's a lot of things you could do with this radio. Like I said earlier, you could switch the faceplate out. You could use it in the original application. If you don't like the chrome paint uh, push buttons, you could always paint them black and they would uh, look right at home in whatever you're after. But uh, these original Pontiac radios are getting hard to find, so don't miss it.